Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL Series, Episode 48. And we're gonna, today we're going to be looking at multiple textures. Um, also note, I'm going to be using Promises. So this may fail if you're using an older browser, or a browser that doesn't have uh, native Promises. Uh, at some point I'll switch to full MPL, MPM style dependencies, and now I'm just going to keep on using the older style including that I've been doing, and Promises can replace signals as well. I originally wrote all this code, um, or a lot of it anyway, uh, a few years back, and I just never got around to posting it, which is why Signals even exists. But um, nowadays, you can use NPM, you can use Promises, you can use Async Await, and eventually we'll be using those as well. But for now, uh, we'll just continue on the status quo. So in this uh, episode, we have two textures. We have the crate again, and then we have this wood. Um, so we can go ahead and close those, and we're just going to be toggling between the two. So we're not going to be displaying them simultaneously yet, but we have two different textures that we'll be toggling between. We have a new uh, JSON object here, which will contain all the keys and the textures themselves. And then the active texture, which is just the default for now, is going to be the create. We have this array, a uh, constant array, with the path to each of the images. And then everything else is just going to be kind of standard quo until we get to the textures, which is the biggest difference. So our shaders are initialized as per usual. Same shaders as the last episode, so if you need to go review that, go ahead. Uh, callbacks, we're going to have the key down. Vertex buffers, again, we're going to use, be using multi-attributes here. So we have the vertex coordinates as well as the texture coordinates and stride and offsets. And then finally, we're going to go ahead to initialize the texture after everything happens. Um, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to collect the promises, which is the asynchronous part of each of the image call. We're going to loop through all of the images, grab its source, create a new promise for each, and within each we're going to go ahead and create a texture, create the image, and if neither of these can be completed successfully, we will go ahead and reject the promise. We're going to go ahead and set the texture source to the image source, and that's just for us for being able to do this right here, which is on our JSON object, making the source be the path. And then we're going to go ahead and set the texture, after it's been loaded, to um, on the textures JSON object, and load the texture and resolve successfully with the promise. And then finally, image.source is what's going to call the uh, ultimate um, loading on to do the onload after it's been loaded. And we're going to push each of these promises onto the array. We'll call promise.all promises dot then function, and then we'll do the callback with any arguments we have, uh, and then we'll have a error handler here that says if there's an error, we'll just say hey we had an error loading the images. So what this allows us to do is load all of these images asynchronously up front before calling into our um, main application. So we have draw here, which is the callback, and then the size of n for the vertex buffers, as you can see. So those will be called after. So after all of the images are loaded, then we'll go ahead and call draw within. Load texture, we're just using the um, methods and functions that we actually need to do the very minimum. Finally, draw, what we're going to do is we're going to activate texture 0. We're going to bind it to whatever the active texture is. So That'll be the crate initially, but it'll switch back and forth with the wood depending on how we toggle it. We'll go ahead and do our sampler here and set it. And finally, draw out uh, given the arguments of n for the number of vertices. Uh, render buffers is all the same. And then on our key down, we just have, if we're pressing the T button, we're going to go ahead and change our active texture back and forth between wood and crate. And then we'll go ahead and redraw um, the screen. So here's the application, and you can see as we push the letter T, we can go ahead and toggle back and forth between the two images. Um, that's it for today's episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and uh, subscribe, like this video, share it on social media if you will, and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.